Hello everybody, this is Shadow Slayer X and we're playing Pokemon Fire Red again. So last time we defeated Brock handily, I might add, with Ghastly. Our Ghastly Atticus. Honestly, that was an on-the-fly thing. When when Atticus learned curse, I knew I had a chance. I think that would have went completely different if the rock tomb had actually destroyed it like if that had taken him out I'm pretty sure Charmander or Charmander Neil wouldn't have been able to handle one or two of those so as I said last episode we're we have a new party member I said I'd do some research to see when that item would become available the item is available of course it is I don't know why I even thought it couldn't be um, but it's not available till after you beat the Elite Four. Can't have that. So, some people are going to hate it. Some people are, might think, oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that. But we have a new member. So, as I promised, a little RP. After defeating Brock, I'm not reading this, I'm actually making this up. So, after defeating Brock, um,. Kind of like in the anime or whatever, like, instead of Brock chasing out after Ash or whatever, instead, um, after defeating Brock, we both go down, we both went down to the Poke Center, got our, got, got our, all our Pokemon healed up, we sat down, we talked or whatever, and, um, I asked him, like, what it was like to be a gym leader and all that, and he said it, it can be tough, but recently, it's been a real big hassle. He used to have uh, another member in his gym, like another person to fight for him, instead of that one guy who always says that I'm light years away from Brock. He used to have, he used to have another member, and only just recently, um, over to the, over to the west here, um, through these trees that doesn't exist, but in the RP it does exist. Um, there is a mine shaft. It's like an old abandoned mine shaft, and a lot of rock Pokemon have taken up residence there. And as we all know, Brock is the resident breeder, and he goes down there and he hangs out with the Geodudes, the Sand Shrews, um, the one or two Onyx that live there. But when his uh, when his apprentice went down there, um, he was attacked. He was attacked by a large, giant creature, body completely made of st stone and steel, and it was wreaking havoc, causing earthquakes across Pewter, C Pewter City. Like a fissure came out from the side here along this trail, and it cracked, snaked along this way, it cracked all the way up to the museum, but it didn't actually hit the museum. So Brock and I go down there. Brock pulls out Onyx. I pull out um, my three guys, even though Pidgey doesn't really count. So really, just Neil and Atticus. And Atticus constantly trying to put this soothe this giant creature by putting it to sleep, to no avail. And luckily enough, it was weak to um, Neil. How can I forget my Pokemon's names? It was weak to Neil's Ember attacks. Then it fell down there, and Brock, I, I told Brock, you can catch it, this is a rock type, it would suit your gym well. And Brock turns to me and says, no, you were in this, you defeated it, it's yours. If you can tame it, that is, because what we got, ladies and gentlemen, I always hit the wrong button, we have Steelix. Now, I did say that um, two Pokemon on this um, playthrough, I've never, I have never taken to the end. Steelix is one of them. I've never trained a Steelix. So he's a lax nature Steelix, go figure, even though I made him out to be like some crazy monster. And we named him Scar. Um, Scar knows Tackle, Screech, and he learned Bind and Rock Throw while training with me. but. Um, for RP purposes, he already knew that. Uh, we leveled up Neil to 14. 
And some news there is that he learned Metal Claw. Awesome. Uh, Atticus leveled up to 14, but he was pretty much already there. Actually, Pidgey. <laughs> we might have to come up with a story for Pidgey, like... Could have, like, a mental illness or something. And he, he just cannot battle. But, like, we love him. Or something. Okay. Hi there. I need some Pokeballs. I only have two left. Now that's because I took a whole bunch to try to catch... I took a whole bunch trying to catch Steelix. So let's get back up to six. Also, we did catch a, a Radata. Data. So, I'll quickly give you guys those Pokedex really quickly. Where's Rattata? There we go. Rattata! Another mouse Pokemon. Its fangs are long and very sharp. They grow continuously, so it gnaws on hard things to whittle them down. That's pretty crazy, actually. And... What the heck? Oh, can I not, like, actually... I can't actually, like, look at Steelix. Is that what that is? Okay, so technically... Technically, I can't really be using Steelix, but I am, so... Suck on that, game! Alright, moving on. Oh, Bryce. I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this. Oh, thank the Lord. Press the B button to run, but only where there's room to run. Well, I'm going back to the lab. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, there's a letter attached. Dear Bryce, here's a pair of running shoes for my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. My mom. Oh, that's fine. Look at this. We can just... Oh, shit. Now, this uh, this whole episode is going to be just like trainer, 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 trainer. And I think at the end there is a poke center, so we'll probably end there. Alright. Last Janus. For a second I thought I was sending up Pidgey. Oh gosh. Right. These guys should be a cakewalk. Maybe we did a little too much training, but they, our guys were pretty much there. Neil was 12, Atticus was on the verge of 14, so... I think for RP purposes, like, you know, in the new, I know, I haven't actually watched the new anime, but I know that, um, I think her name's Iris, she's like the 8th gym leader in black, she had a ground, she had the Drillberry, or the Evolve from the Drillberry, and it like didn't listen to her, oh crap, Scar, and it didn't listen to her, so. See, that's a, that's a great thing. Scar, use Rock Throw, and then he just doesn't really listen. But then he got hit, so he kind of got a little ticked. But it wasn't effective, so like he just the crap out of that Pidgey. Alright, last Janus. Alright, now I think there's an item down here. Or it's on that ledge. No, just a trainer? Okay, running shoes. Are there double battles in the fire? Oh, I love double battles. Hey, I saw you in Viridian Forest. Well, I'm gonna wipe- I wiped the floor with you then, I'm gonna wipe the floor with you now. Colton. I don't remember it, Colton. Someone's gonna go back through the videos. Actually, you fought Colton. He had a level 7 Caterpie. Whatever. Go mop the floor with him. I was trying to think when... Haunter evolve or one ghastly evolves, and I thought for some reason I thought it was 16, but I think that's I think that's Abra. And Haunter or er, ghastly evolves into Haunter at 25, I believe. I didn't catch who's coming next, but we'll use that, I guess. So, yeah. I just forgot what I was talking. About. Why don't you have a bee drill on a butterfly? 
Yeah, so, yeah, um, and the only reason I worry about that is because, um, now that you know Steelix was on it, the one I was thinking about, I have to figure out how... <laughs> There'll be a hiatus when I'm trying to figure out how to trade to myself. And I know there are probably just some walkthroughs on YouTube or whatever. So I'll definitely take a look at those. Um, or if I can get it, <laughs> if I can get enough viewers, someone can tell me. That'd be nice. So we're just rotating between three guys, getting everyone some experience. Usually I just do one at a time. Actually, now that I mention it, I think I might just. We'll get. Neil higher than everyone else so he can evolve because he's 16. Yeah, so to train up Scar I did a lot of Viridian Forest training. And I had this like really cool image in my head where it's that exit to- oh hi, I like shorts. They're delightfully comfy and easy to wear. Uh, no, so I had this cool image in my head where I'm walking through that exit way into Pewter City from Viridian, and hovering over my right shoulder is Ghastly. My back's to the, the, the to the picture. Ghastly's ho hovering over my right shoulder, Charmander walking beside me underneath on my right, and then to my left is just this giant hulking Steelix who's about to bow his head to get underneath, and like behind us is just a trail of littering of I got so excited telling the story, I forgot to actually battle. Just like a trail of like, knocked out Pokemon. Pokemon. So like, like one Pikachu, like dozen Weedle, dozen Caterpie, couple Metapods, couple Kakuna. That would be kind of funny. I know some people have like some artists who actually like, uh, watch and sometimes send in. Um, Secretly, secretly, I would love to have someone do that, but that'd be really cool. Okay. So I don't think it's going to be that hard to get Charmander to Charmeleon. Now, it's funny that I did get a ground steel type going up against Misty. Missy has, if I remember, in level 18 star you and a level 20 star me, or 21 star me. So I have two guys who are weak against it, and unless Atticus pulls off another lick, if he licked star you into submission, that sounds horrible as well, and then did the same thing where it was hypnosis curse, then maybe we'd have a chance, but that's, <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel like the karma of the game will let that happen again. Are you a trainer? Let's get with it right away. Catch a brick. Oh, this is just fodder. Level me up. So right now with the three guys, we'll do importance of leveling. It'll be Neil, then Atticus, then uh, then Scar. Oops. Just because Scar has major uh, physical defense, and so we'll pretty much use him as a wall. We'll use him all against the wall, like when. There's a third gym layer. Oh, definitely, yeah. He's gonna roll the third gym layer. Yeah, now that I think of it. Oh. Oh, Bryce oh, another thing. I know, I know the game's supposed to be played a certain way, but ever since I started playing uh, from Diamond Black, Diamond Black, Black Two, I started sending myself guys to make the game more fun. More fun if that's <laughs> that's the right grammar. But it really changed the way I played and. It really opened it up to some new stuff, like what I thought would be a good team from low levels to high levels, like with, and like I did with Steelix, trying to get those good stats without maxing them. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah, without trying to max the stats. I did get into the whole Ev thing. Oh, I love Charmeleon. Look at this. Amazing. 
I did get into like the deeper stats of the game and everything, trying to get like perfect items. But I know you can't. There's no way you can really control that. I mean, you'd have to get poker fires and all these other things. And I don't really care about that, so it's not a perfect game, but I do know where the good stats come from, so I'm going to try to do that. Oh, I hear interruption outside, so I might have to cut this episode really short. So let's see what Rattata can do. If I, if I cut this one, like, right now, I apologize. I can hear people trying to... Someone yelled my name, so... Take out that dinner, eh? Alright, well, this is Shadow Slayer, signing off.